Great, so my name is Max. Um, I am here at the University of Oslo with the DHS2 group, um, and I'm going to start us off for this last session of the day and um, in the last session of this conference. So I do want to thank everyone for joining us. Um, I think it's been a really great event uh, as the first time we've done this digitally. And so it's been a really positive experience, I think, for us. And we're happy that so many people could join us. Um, we have a number of people who are going to join in this closing session and a number of activities. So hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, we have some quizzes. We have a survey so you can give us your feedback. Um, and you'll hear from pretty much every person who's played a key role in helping to put this conference together. So I think it's a great chance also for everyone to kind of join in and have one big collaborative closing. Uh, so I just wanted to also give you some information on what to do after the conference, what you can do. Um, for example, we have been recording all these sessions and we've posted them on our YouTube channel. So if there was something you were interested in seeing but you missed because you were attending something else or the timing didn't work out, you can go there to the annual conference playlist on our YouTube channel and see any of the presentations you might have missed or if you want to go back and see more of something, maybe watch it in more detail, uh, you can do that. Those videos will be available there. Um, you can also go back and uh, participate in the conversations on the community of practice. So each uh, session has a, had its corresponding thread on the COP and you can go and find them there. That's the, the link that's in this presentation is for the general annual conference category and then each of the sessions has their own post within that category. Um, again, this is a great way to keep in touch with presenters, ask questions, um, or other people who participate in the conference, kind of make connections, and maybe some interesting project or collaboration will come out of that. Um, if you haven't created your account yet on the CAP, you can do that still. It's free, and um, you're welcome to join anytime. Uh, the SCED website for this conference will stay up for a bit, and so you can also find people there and find links to the CAP and links to the videos. And uh, we are on social media on Facebook and Twitter, so if you want to find out more about what's happening with the HS2 in the future after this conference is over, you can follow us there. You can also sign up for a mailing list on our website. And then we did send out a link to a survey. You should have all gotten that link in emails through the SCED platform, and it's also in this presentation. This is a survey that will help us find out a bit more about how DHS2 is being used in different countries and by different organizations. So if you haven't taken that survey yet, we also really appreciate it that if you could do that and um, let us know you know, what you're doing with DHS2. Um, so with that, I think now is the time when we would like to hear from you and really um, get some feedback about how we've been doing uh, with this conference. And so to collect that feedback, I'm going to turn this over to my colleagues, uh, Simona and Alice, who have put together a survey for you. Hi, hi, good afternoon. I'll just share my screen. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Um. All right, so um, the Mentimeter is, is back. Uh, so for, the, for those of you who haven't participated in the last uh, Mentimeter, it's, uh, it's really easy. It's really easy to join. It's very easy to participate. All you have to do is to take your phone, uh, then go to uh, menti.com and then enter the code which is three four six five five all right i'll give you a couple of seconds All right, and the first question is, are you ready? So if you're ready, please give us a thumbs up. Okay, you can see 36, 38. I hope most of you will participate. Yeah, I can see the people are still connecting, so I'll give you a few more seconds. Okay, Alice, ready? Yes. Let's start with the first question. 
How would you describe the D Digital DHS2 Annual Conference in one word? Awesome. I like satisfactory there. That's really. And virtually awesome. <laughs> Slides is awesome and great are the most, uh, most popular choices. For the record, emojis do not come through on this word cloud. <laughs> Which is maybe a, a good thing. I'm not sure. Do you think virtually awesome means that it's almost awesome or that it's like online and awesome? Definitely a, definitely a play on words there. I think Jose should play a little bit of guitar when we have so like positive feedbacks like this. <laughs> I think my favorite is okay. I can, I can. <laughs> All right, let's take it. Let's take, check out the next question. Yes. All right. So overall, how would you rate the DHIS2 annual conference? And we have excellent, very good, good, fair, or poor. Good. And so we like to hear nice things. Uh, that's uh, that's great, but we also appreciate your um, your thoughts and, and and feedback on what we could do better. Yes. Should we move on to the next. Yes, please. Yeah. So overall, how organized was the digital annual conference? Just you know? say, oh, no, I was the one who didn't like the organizing. So if you say it's badly organized, then she's going to get upset with you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, that's that's great. Next question. Did the annual conference meet your expectations? There will be a slide afterwards. We can tell us more about your expectations. Yeah. All right. Let's let's move. So, what do you think of the digital digital format of the annual conference? It worked very well. It worked well. It worked more or less work well. It didn't work well at all. Okay, good. Okay, I think most people have finished voting, so I'll move yeah. on. Please describe why the digital format did or did not work. Yeah, I think it's a good point that everybody can attend because normally it's really nice to meet in person. Uh, but that has some limitations for, you know, it's not as easy to, to, for everyone to fly out to Oslo. I know Kristen was disappointed in the no beer on the island. Uh, so I think we would agree with that comment. Yes, and it's, this year we really tried to make sure that recordings were available for those who could not attend the parallel sessions, so. Mm -hmm. As in, most people are saying that um, it allows for more flexibility for people to work and attend the conference. And nap, apparently. I see that comment yeah. there. <laughs> and they can take naps, yeah. 
I mean, it's it's, re it's really hard to take naps in the in-person conference, so I, I I totally get it. Okay. You can still you can still share uh, later, so this this poll will, will be on, and you can go with it in your own pace. Okay, take a look at the next one. Yes, I'm trying. Hmm. I think I'm having an issue with simultaneously sharing my screen and then moving the... Um, well, you can pause sharing your screen for a moment if you need to. Give me a second. All right, next one. Yes. Uh, what do you think of the length of the digital annual conference? Um, five days was a good format. Five days was too long. Two to three days would be better. Or it was too short. Uh, please take a few days longer. Some people just can't get enough. So it seems like it was a good length overall. Next one. Yeah. What do you think of the pace of the conference? It should be more than three hours a day. Three hours a day was a good length. Between two, three hours a day will be better. Only one hour a day will be the best. Seems like three hours is a good good length as long as, long as you yeah. can take maps in, in between. Uh, what type of session did you like the most? Uh, the plenaries, the parallel short sessions, the parallel long sessions, use case bazaar, or expert lounges? Seems like it's pretty even. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the next. Were there enough sessions? plenary sessions, short parallel sessions, long parallel sessions, experts' lounges. Mm -hmm. It seems that people who appreciate more uh, expert lounges. Yes. Which is also good. Mm -hmm. I think you can move to the next. Uh, what were your three favorite sessions of this year? <laughs> All, All of Scott's. Scott's. <laughs> Mike, please. That sounds suspiciously like a Scott. I <laughs> have a feeling that's coming from Scott. I'm not sure. Or, or Scott has a um, big fan. Strong Scott fan base out there. <laughs> I'm as shocked as you are. That's amazing. <laughs> The data quality seems to be um, repeated in there. Plus, new DHS too. We'll make, uh, we'll then count all those and decide what was the most uh, popular one. All right, let's move. We'll just give a Scott conference next year. <laughs> Any topics, themes that you would like you would have liked to see this year? So meet my expedition. No. Musician. Yeah, so I saw a comment there about it getting more local uh representation, which I think we tried to do. We did have a number of 
even within the global sessions, I think we tried to include local uh, stories uh, as much as possible, but that's a good, good feedback for next time. And we have more Scots. Less mic again. <laughs> I really think Scott should be excluded from voting in the future. I think Mike, too. It's just what the people want. <laughs> sure. So there, there's a lot of suggestions for, for next uh, next year. Going to move on. So your general feedback suggestion for improvement, how can we improve the annual conference? <laughs> uh, we, should, we should invent a COVID vaccine so we can do it in person. Food and coffee. But I hope you don't complain when you get a lot of sessions to present. Yeah, yeah I'm it's going to be all Scott next next year. Uh, I'm appreciating it. I dug myself into a grave here. That's going to have an unconference. That's like. Yeah. I, I am really interested in the virtual beer. Yeah, if you're going to invent that, I think it's even more popular than the COVID vaccine, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, but we should have had maybe like a virtual beer uh, thing at the end or something. But next, well, hopefully in person next year. So <laughs> everybody drinking alone, recorded and posted to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I have you that idea. Let's uh, move on to the next slide. Yeah. What do you think I've been doing? Have you been recording it? What do you think was the most valuable, important thing you have learned? Strong communities. Learning from each other. Everything. <laughs> and it's really great to see people, I think, being motivated by innovations that others have, have done with DHS2. And that's, I think, a big reason we like to have this, this conference and have so many individual sessions or presentations from different countries and different organizations. So it's great to see that people um, are motivated by that. Upcoming features comes also. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So we'll have a look at it later. Let's move on. What do you think of the SCAD app for the conference agenda? Uh, it was great. It made it so much easier to know what's going on. It was okay. Uh, not useful. I would prefer the good old Word document. I didn't use it. So it seems like uh, that was a very, very useful thing for, for most people. Right. And I believe good. that was our last question. So thank you everyone uh, for sharing and your thoughts and feedback and we'll take it to heart. Yes, thank you. Next year. And I think now we're gonna turn it over to Ola to go through some stats from the conference. Hi everyone, can you see me and hear me and see the slide? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm Ola, I'm the DHS Implementation Coordinator here at the University of Oslo. Um, this is actually normally the time when I tell you how we get to the island for the big social event. But uh, it's different this time. It's been a different conference, but uh, also as you can see here, the biggest one ever. Um, it's great that we have managed to reach out to so many participants across the world. Uh, this map is pretty impressive. Every continent represented. I think through training land, we even have Antarctica, Max. Um, we have almost every country in Africa uh, participating. Uh, that's great. It's also been sad, I think, not to be able to share a cup of coffee with you, uh, to connect with new DHS2 colleagues, uh, to have beer with old friends, or play football together on the island. 
We have learned a lot about digital communication this year, uh, and we will continue to do our best to keep you all engaged in the coming months. But we also look forward to welcome you back to Oslo again, hopefully next June, and there will be waffles, there will be muscles and more. This chart, we can see the diversity of participants and the types of organizations represented. Um, again, I think we have a quite a good mix of country governments, technical partners, donors, HISP groups, and uh, the global DHS2 team. And here we have listed all the 57 countries that have had Ministry of Health representation. Uh, it's really a great spread across, uh, across the world again. Uh, I hope that you can all continue to stay engaged in the digital DHS2 community of practice, to share your experiences and to engage with the other experts there. This year's agenda was perhaps not as packed as the, the one in the previous years that we run on site, but we still have uh, had an amazing number of speakers uh, contributing. 116 in total and all the names are here. So thanks a lot to everyone that contributed. And uh, in addition to the Mentimeter voting, we also have some, some hard facts from uh, both the Zoom attendance and the YouTube view, uh, views so far. Um, and the exciting part, I think, of this digital format is that these numbers will continue to go up. Huh? You and many more can continue to go to YouTube and uh, watch the sessions that you missed uh, and share them with your colleagues. We can see here in the ranking that uh, the day one plenaries are still leading. Um, and it's great to see that we have more than 800 views now for the opening session. So uh, we are already over time and uh, I see, see we have lost some people, but we still have 160 left. That's great. Uh, at this time, we usually do the, the Kahoot. So it's, it's time again. We'll try virtual this time for the annual DHS2 Kahoot competition. Um, Carolina will uh, share her screen and provide instructions. Good luck to you all. Sorry, I'll share again. I just want to make sure you know we get the awesome music. You can all see my screen, I hope. So yeah, please go to kahoot.it and join with the game pin, which is 702435. Caroline, are you going to give us any exciting facts about Kahoot while we wait uh, for people to join? Exciting facts about what? Kahoot? I think Kahoot is Norwegian. <laughs> That's my fact. <laughs> no, no longer free. <laughs> That's the problem. That's the, uh, yes, this is a no. free trial for uh, 2,000 people. Not that we are, <laughs> but I want to make sure we had enough space for everyone. And uh... yeah, let's wait a bit more. We still have about 100 people not in yet. Is there a yeah. prize for this, uh, Ola? Yeah, well, of course, it's as always Norwegian chocolate. We will send it by mail. Mm -hmm. So, the smartest thing might be to use your name, but even if you don't, you have to let us know in the chat afterwards if you win, and we'll be in touch and get your mailing address. And it might melt on the way over, so maybe we keep it here for you in Oslo and we, <laughs> when we welcome it, you for next year. Let's yeah, see. you get it next year. <laughs> I see someone called Nat Scott. I think that's suspicious. <laughs> 
Oh, there is that. Yeah, this, this will be my favorite YouTube video to watch the Kahoot on repeat. <laughs> for, and study for next year. Yeah. All right, looks like it might have slowed down a little bit. Maybe it's time to get started. Yeah, it's going down now, yeah. Okay, let's get started. You can all see that, I hope, the quiz. So first up, how many countries were represented at this year's annual conference? So let's see who paid attention to the slides. You have 20 seconds or when everyone has responded, then it will end. Ah, okay. Most most people did. Yeah, 103 countries. That was great. No, let's see. Vlad and Ulala is in the lead. Uh, you also get more points if you answer um, faster. How many ministries of health are represented this year? So 27, 37, 47, or 57? A little bit more spread out, but yeah, most people knew it. Oh, Vlad is still in the lead. In which year was the Health Information Systems Program established? Sorry for the spelling error. This is, I don't know if we mentioned this it, this year, but I think it was a question last year's. And the basic knowledge. Yeah, I was going to say it's basic knowledge. <laughs> yes, most people knew. Vlad is still in the lead. How many expert academies annual conferences have taken place, including this one? Hey. Hopefully the question was right last year because I just <laughs> went one up. <laughs> yeah, it's eight, so just a couple more and we have our 10 year anniversary. Oh, we have a new lead here. Emojis work apparently. The ghost is in the lead. Yeah. How many DHIS2 academies were organized in 2019? Twenty-three, at least according to the DHIS2.org academy website. The ghost is still in the lead. Where did the very first DHIS2 implementation take place? There are some repeats from last year, so some people might have a benefit there, but it's also about remembering. Yes, in Kerala, India. Oh. Ula is in the lead now, and I'll, then not Scott. I'll stop, I'll stop responding now. I think. <laughs> no, no, it's either way. You're uh, ineligible to get the chocolate. I think. In which programming language is the DHS2 course after written? Oh, that one, that one most people knew. All right, not Scott is in the lead. Actually not Scott. This one is a new question and maybe a bit, you want to do some non DHS2 stuff as well, where you went for some geography. 
Last year we did most populous, so this year I did least. Yeah, but most people knew it. Great. Since we were all supposed to be in Oslo, we have to have a Nor Norway related question. Are there polar bears in Norway? Yes, people knew that or remembered from yesterday or last year. It's we have polar bears on Svalbard, an island. Not Scott is still in the lead. This one is always fun. What does DHIS stand for? Yep, the, that's the, what most people think. And last year there were like loud yells from the from the people like there was a bit of disagreement but it is software i'm pretty sure we decided to change that after last year <laughs> what was the old name for analytics tables yeah i do hear system more than software usually but that's what's a fun question date of art. I don't know when the it changed that something Lars can answer probably. Which one has not been the name for tracker? As the tracker product manager, I still can't remember the answer to this. <laughs> Well, that's good because again, this was used last last year too. Uh, patient app. Can can, can someone explain what NBITS stands for? <laughs> yeah, he's been there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Name based something. Who was the first DHS developer? So DHS, not DHS two specifically. It was Carla Bag. Thanks, Carla, for being so quiet this week. <laughs> when was the first line of DHS2 code written? And is it still there? <laughs> and is it still there? <laughs> <laughs> I would not remember this one. Yeah, 2004. Ula and then M and then Aaron Leon Sion. <laughs> Guess the DHS2 version. So here you get a picture. That you are there. You get to guess what, what version this is. <laughs> Now I remember from last year that it maybe could be two of them, but so apologies if you think your answer should be the right. Yeah, maybe it could be 210 as well. So apologies for that if it looked the same then. That was a bit before my time. What language has the most complete set of translations of the DHI suit uh, platform? So Phil pulled this out from the TransFX platform. Ah, cool. And these are actually the four top languages. Not so, wow. no, these are the top four. Yeah. Uh, so it's just which one is the most complete. 
we have some work China on our attendance map? Oh. No, yeah. I don't think we have any registered attendance from China. That is actually the most complete. And then, yeah, it actually goes Chinese, Norwegian, Arabic, Portuguese, I think. Okay. How many bugs have been fixed in DHS2 Android and web so far this year, according to Jira? So uh, issues in done that's been fixed since January 1st and up until yesterday, I think. Yes, 650 and hopefully many more by the end of the year. So we're really looking forward to continuing the conversation on the COP uh, and how many members have joined in just the last year, so since September last year. Yes, 1,400, and we hope, or many have joined this week, and I hope people will continue joining. And M is in the lead. And who has received most likes on their COP posts in the last year? Again, looked at this yes yesterday, so... Sorry if it's changed today, but I don't think so. <laughs> Not a popularity. Popularity contest, remember that. <laughs> I like that you said that, Max. <laughs> One, two. Okay. Last question. Which is a pretty easy one. Are you looking forward to the annual conference next year? And I think this should be an easy answer, but I don't know. And easy points. <laughs> Are the organizers allowed to vote now? <laughs> Uh oh, five people <laughs> who didn't say yes. Uh, but that means that the Kahoot is over. So let's see. Spicy Ginger. We need green lamps in the chat now. Ooh la la. And who's the winner? M. Do anyone want to speak up about being one of these if they are able to? Or is that? I think Raise I can. Hmm? Raise your hand and zoom. Yeah. Yeah. I'm this is Rebecca, and, and I can confirm that I am not spicy ginger. <laughs> I actually <laughs> thought it was you. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay, we'll reach out to us, I guess, or we'll look in the chat later. But I'll uh, end it then. I There's think. one hand. There's one hand raised. Oh, uh, it went, went away. <laughs> okay. All right. I think that's it for me. I have the results and everything, so we can look into that later. So over to you, Ola. Yeah, I got it. I just want to put the video on. We need uh, all the faces now. Huh? So we have Simona, Max, Grant. You all there? Yes. So I think we're all ready to take a break now. Uh, and all that remains is to say goodbye from all of us. Um, thanks for well, this week. Yeah. You got to fix your view. You can see your presenter notes too in your ah. screen. Then I don't need to speak. That's easier. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you still see it? Or? No. No, it's good. Nope. Okay. So you can see the photo now, full screen. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a beautiful photo. Yeah. So uh, thanks for joining us this week uh, and being part of a thriving and very diverse uh, community of practice. Uh, I think this nice photo is a good evidence of that. Um, before we end, I just want to thank especially the organizing team. Max, Alice, uh, Simona, and Grant. Let me see your faces. Yeah. Big thanks to you guys. Thank Bye you. Job.
Wish you a good and relaxing weekend and, and break. Um, and then I think we'll just say goodbye to everyone. Huh? We, let's, let's finish this now. Thanks everyone for joining. Thank you everybody. You're allowed to go and mute and, and scream if you want. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> See you guys next year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Gracias. Bye.